Today is an exciting day. We've got the Tesla Cybertruck uh, reveal. I'm very excited. This is uh, November 21st, and Elon wanted to do uh, the release on November 21st, or not, it doesn't matter about the 21st, November 2019, because Blade Runner, which is one of his uh, favorite films, uh, that's, I guess, Wednesday. Today's Thursday. Wednesday is when the film, technically, we're now past Blade Runner. So uh, that was the date set in the future. Now we've passed it. And we are finally going to see this Cybertruck, which he has said is it's their best product ever. And Tesla has done some amazing things. So I'm excited to see what it's going to look like. If it goes too far futuristic, then you're going to have people who traditionally would buy a pickup truck not buying it because it's weird. Um, so you, you you can't go too far, but at the same time you want to look um, you know interesting and different. So let's look into some of the designs. Uh, you know what are the features of the truck? Uh, now this is <laughs> this is a weird photo here. I'm not quite sure what I'm looking at. Looks like. We've got a traditional F-150 sitting in the back of Elon Musk's truck, which would be a massively sized truck. So that is not what it's going to look like. It's cool, but yeah, that's not going to work. Um, so let's go through some of the renders, um, what people think it's going to look like. Now, I brought up this because he talks a lot about an armored vehicle, and I was thinking like maybe aliens. Um, this vehicle from Aliens. Maybe some design elements might go into the truck. That's just my thoughts on it, and I brought that up. Uh, let's go to... This is the only photo uh, released from Tesla, and I'm not really sure what I'm looking at here. We have a light coming across where the hood meets. We have some rain, so that's this whole Blade Runner thing again. Uh, with obviously the Tesla emblem, but we can't see anything back in through here. The lights are, I guess, that's going to be the light coming out from there. Like, there's not going to be actual headlights. Um, but this is released officially from Tesla. So this is all we have. Um, he has promised it's going to be a better sports car than a Porsche 911. So that's crazy. Um... Let's see, it's going to hope he hoped, so we don't know. So I'm sure there's going to be a lot of questions about the price. Maybe that will be revealed today as well. Uh, but around fifty thousand dollars U.S., which is uh, normal for a truck like an F-150, I believe. Um, all right, let's look at some designs. I'm excited. We're going to finally see. Now this is again, this is all renderings. Uh, people are trying to guess. This looks like more of a traditional truck with a really cool. Uh, Tesla emblems on the front. I don't know why there'd be one here and then one here. <laughs> uh, so, what else we got here? There's the one we've already seen. Any more photos here? Any designs? This one is, I've seen this one around before. Um, that's interesting. Although this looks weird at the front. There's not much detail. Um, okay, so this is just them. Here, we'll get some better ones going on here. Let's take that off. All right, that's the one that's pretty cool, but it's probably, that's a safe one. That's a safe design. There's that one we saw before with, it's like the, I don't know why, I don't, there's no detail up here. It looks weird. Um, oh, here we go. So highlights. So 400 to 500 mile range, seating up to six, price of under 50,000 US, performance of a Porsche 911, meet or beat both the Ram and Ford F-150s. Now, the cool thing that he has released is it's going to have a 240 volt jack on it uh, to plug in so you can use welder tools and uh, more, you know, if you're on the job. Uh, that would be a huge feature for a lot of, um, you know, guys that do construction and renovations and they can just plug directly into the truck. Pretty cool. Um... What else do we got here? Now, potentially, they could have the million mile battery inside of it. That is super cool. Uh, so, Jeff Don is the man behind the million mile batteries. 
So I've heard this a few times coming out of Tesla, uh, but they may put this into the truck. Um, so this is just a breakdown of how it will work. So let's see here. The study uses tiny pouch cells, not cylindrical ones, such as the cells Tesla currently uses. Study clarifies interesting aspects of these calculations. If a 400 kilometer battery pack could stand 4,000 cycles without any loss of performance, it would be good for 1.6 million, nope, yeah, million kilometers or 1 million miles. But we could also have an 800 kilo kilometer ba battery pack that deals with 2,000 cycles. So that would be, if he comes out with that, that would be fantastic. So your battery pack would last a long time. Uh, what else? So, now there's going to be different uh, versions of it. Um, so, he's hinted that the truck can tow 300,000 pounds, which is insane. So that's about 10 times what a Super Duty gas or diesel powered trucks can tow. Uh, but I think that's the top model, like the most expensive one. Electric motors have more torque than internal combustion engines. Final speculations are speculations, but speed and power will likely look comparable, if not better, than today's most popular truck models. Now, at the same time, I believe Ford is unveiling, unveiling their F-150 electric today at a trade show, I believe. Do we have anything on that? Uh, let's see. Anything new in here? Now, he's tweeted a lot to fans and people asking questions. Um, we don't want to know, even know when this thing's going to come out, but today we're going to learn a lot, uh, mostly the look, as he went too far. This is a cool looking truck. Um, so it's, they've, this, the people coming up with this have really pushed the sports element to it. Um, that is interesting, but I don't, it's very smooth. From everything I've read for him, it, it's going to be more like angled, I would think. More armored. He said armored. So I don't know if it's going to be as smooth, even though that is a cool design. That's on car and driver. Uh, 49,900. What else? What do they have on this thing? Probably nothing more than what I've read. So, are you guys excited about an electric truck? They're going to be the future. Like, we, electric is the future. There's no way to get around it. It's more efficient. Um, as prices come down, we're, we're all going to have to go electric because it's going to be cheaper. If the electric battery becomes cheaper than a uh, combustion engine and, and it's more efficient, you know, why wouldn't you buy it? It's just a better product. Uh, let's see. So the design, this is what, here's the big thing with the design. If people hate the design, um, it, it, like who buys a pickup truck? It's usually like more blue collar or rougher, tougher man who needs to throw stuff in the back. And um, I don't really need, <laughs> I'm not a rougher, tougher guy. I don't really need a, a pickup truck. But although I would, we when I do movies and stuff, I'm always throwing flats into uh, trucks coming uh, in handy when we're moving props and set pieces and stuff like that. So I, I would be in the market for a sweet electric truck. Now here's stats on, so there's about 3 million pickup trucks are sold in the U.S. each year. Ford and GM are the largest sellers with more than 900,000 units sold by each annually. So, wow, so almost a million for a million trucks are sold from Ford and a million from GM. Um, so it's far less fragmented than the car market. Also top-end trucks go for less money than top-end luxury sedans. Nicely equipped full-size pickup can start around $55,000. So Musk coming in under the $50,000 uh, would be huge. A mid-sized truck can run $30,000 to $40,000. The average price of the car is around $36,000. So now he hoped it would be at the $50,000 range, but maybe uh, it might be higher. But, well, if it's a better product, then people don't mind paying. Now, where is this happening? I believe this is happening uh, right beside the SpaceX site. Um, let's see. Uh, so, okay, so this is just talking about replacing the F-150. If they were to replace the F-150, that would be insane. Uh, but don't count Ford out. 
Let's just go to stock prices here. Okay, let's just go uh, forward stock price. Let's see. So today, so if Ford, actually let's research that as well. So Ford's at $8.73 US. What's the dividend on that thing? That's a high dividend, 6.87. So depending on, now I own Tesla shares, but depending, I, that yield is fantastic. Now in a recession, uh, automakers normally get hit pretty hard because who's buying a new car in a recession? Um, so they get whacked pretty good, but that yield, if their F-150 truck looks cool, um, I don't know, I might buy some. Let's look at the five year. Holy crap, okay, so uh, we've got a downward trend. So you have lost, if you've held the shares for four years, you have lost half your money capital. So that's why the yield's so high. Let's look at the max. So here we are here, 873. Um, at one time, back in the day, oh, right before the uh, tech boom crash there, it was 37. Um, it looks like there's a downward, downward trend here. The trend is your friends who always want to watch it <laughs> and be careful of it. Don't fight the trend. Um, but let's quickly put in Ford F-150, to be fair, uh, electric, and see. Maybe throw a vent in there as well. Okay, so this is Tesla's here. Tesla preps. Now, why is this on the same day? Was that done on purpose? When is this event? All right, all electric F-154 on the Ford site. Let's watch this. Okay, I don't really want to play this too much because otherwise my video might get flagged. Um, but why is there no info on this event? I believed it was at the, let's see, maybe Auto Show, which Tesla normally doesn't go to. So let's bring up the Auto Show. 2021, first plan, yes, 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 yes. I swear there was something today, but, oh, here we go. Ford Mustang electric vehicle? Reveals, uh, no. Anyways, I thought I read something that the there was something with Ford. Maybe I was wrong. Uh, but anyways, let's look at Tesla shares as well because the stock price could go up or down a lot depending on how well this event goes today. And uh, I'll do another video after this as well and discuss um, the look of it and the details. I'm very excited today. You know, it's a, it's a cold day in Canada. Uh, so it's nice to get excited about something going on in California where it's going to be nice and warm and Tesla, which is one of my favorite companies. Uh, I own lots of shares. Um, it's, uh, it's going to be fun. It's a fun day. Exciting. I'll just be watching Twitter. And so what do we have here? So we have a bit of a sell off. Not much. Let's go to month. It's been almost straight up, not straight up, but it's been doing very well. So what is going to happen? What do you guys predict? Do you think this is going to help Tesla or hurt it? I don't think he's going to make a misstep. I'm sure he's tested out the design. I think it's not going to be as aggressive as what people think. Um, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Please give, give me a thumbs up. Uh, thumbs up if you like Tesla. Smash that like button. Uh, subscribe to me and, and hit that bell notification. I would, I would appreciate that. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the truck. Would you buy one of these trucks? Do you think it's going to suck? Comment below. Do you think it's going to be amazing? Is it going to change everything? I don't know. Comment below and tell me what you think. Uh, I just want to start the conversation. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Cheers. Bye.